what I've got here, uh, and this is actually for the creamed mushrooms, but we'll start with this is red rice. So it's fantastic stuff. Mm. 20 times the antioxidant content of, of brown rice. It's right. just amazing. Oh, so is that what they call coral? Coral, rice, yes. Yes. Coral, yeah. okay. Yeah. So it just it grows red naturally in the fields. When we were in Bali um, just before Christmas, they had red rice everywhere. Or they had grown red rice. Beautiful stuff. Where'd you get it from, Mother? I got it from Honest Goodness. Honest Goodness. Honest Goodness. Honest Goodness. Honest Goodness. Okay, so, that. Yeah. Pop that on there. so simple rule with, with rice is you use twice as much liquid as rice. No, no, I said that before. And I prefer the absorption method to the rapid boil because you retain all the nutrients in the rice when you use the absorption method. Okay, Mitch, could I get you to watch over that rice and when it starts to bubble, just turn the heat down to one. Yeah, okay. So, when it starts getting these little holes in it, little, little um, worm holes, <laughs> that means it's just about done, okay? So at this point, it's still got some water to absorb, as you can see. Uh, but at this point, if you like, you can just turn the heat off, leave it sitting on the on the hot plate. If you've got gas, then the temperature will drop quickly. If you've got electricity, just the heat that's still in, in, the, in the hot plate. We'll just keep it cooking for the next few minutes until it's really okay. right. So here's my red rice that's been sitting there, oh, it's gone just absorbing the, the water. Yeah, yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? I like it. Another water saute. Saute chef will be doing his thing again. Actually, while that water warms up, we may as well slice the mushrooms. So, mushroom slicer back in service. Worth its weight in gold, this thing. What is it called and where did you get it? I got it from Chalet, just in the entrance floor of, of, of Westfield. Oh, yeah, from the escalator up from the bank. That's it? Yes. I often, I, I stopped there yesterday and gave the bottom of the <laughs> Robin could spend hours there. Where did you go slugging the app? Oh, just various gadgets that Doesn't they have. Really I, was, I was just in an inquisitive frame of mind, you know. So kitchen geek. <laughs> <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I like that. I didn't buy anything, oh, though. That. I hasten to add. No, you don't yes. have to. Some, some yeah, of us just enjoy watching the <clears throat> Sure. Right here. Yeah, we have some village. Okay. Couldn't see it. No, I couldn't see it. Alright. So. How are we going over there? Just about ready to saute. Yep, we had a mission. So it's so time saving, that one, isn't it? And everything ends yeah. up absolutely so yeah. 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 on slots, which is somehow yeah. especially satisfying. It is. <laughs> Okay. Kind of put it through the thermie, it's sort of shards of mushroom. It's not that's really right. Sauce. That's right. Rather than actual slices, this this will end up being um, cooked down. So yeah, but I, I like having them all nice yeah. and neat. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna do another water saute with the onion. You could put two in. Two little ones together. Mm, yeah, you can do two at once. They they fit side by side. Yeah, nice. So while it's cooking, I'm just gonna make the sauce for it. So you'll probably recognise this sauce from week one. It bears a strange yes. resemblance to the sauce we had on the mm -hmm. kale. Yeah. So it's just one of those recipes that you can use if, if, with just about anything, particularly greens, and it always tastes great. So we've got our cashews. Now I've got oat milk this time for the variety mm -hmm. and some garlic and nutritional yeast. Rice milk? I see you didn't write rice milk here. No, rice milk I, I don't favour because it's incredibly glycemic. Ah, it's okay. pretty much just sugar water. Not that there's added sugar, but when you cook rice and you cook it and cook it and cook it and cook it, the starch is in a breakdown, so yeah. it becomes highly glycemic. <laughs> if, you, if you put it with other things with a low glycemic index, the net effect of that is, mm. is to dilute it. But the, um, the oat and almond and hemp milks are just more nutritious mm. than the rice. And they have more protein in them. Yeah, they have more everything pretty mm. much. Yeah. Okay, quick mm. whisper the sauce ingredients. Fairly run 
money. But the nice thing about this cashew sauce is that when you uh, when you heat it, it thickens just like a white sauce. Okay, so it's fine to leave this one runny. In fact, we want it a little bit runny so that it doesn't thicken too much when we pop it in the pan with the hot veggies. We're going to slice this one too. Luckily, they've, they've got 11 year olds to rouse on them. <laughs> Hello, girls. Sorry, demarcation is for you, Mitch wants this job. Okay. You're getting a bit slack there. Okay, and that's it for our shopping. Okay, so I've got the curly kale again. So remember how to get the kale off yes, the store? Full, yeah. like so. And um, what you can actually do to get this just really finely chopped is to have a go with the old kitchen shears. Okay, so I did all the rest of them before I just got this one. Yes, you can chuck it in thermi, but thermi is otherwise occupied right now with, with sauce, so, okay. And then, yeah, I mean, this is what I did before just to get it chopped really fine. You just plunge the shears in there and not your finger. Stuck in. Yeah, not your finger. <laughs> Preferably not your finger. Um, well, it needs to cook for at least 10 minutes, doesn't it? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Although, if you chop it really finely like this, you can get away with less than that. So, I think my onion should be nicely sauteed. Okay, so veggies in. I would let the mushrooms and the zucchini cook for a while before adding the greens, but because I've got kale and it does take a little longer, I'm going to pop it in now. Mm. I'm just going to add it in bit by bit so that it can wilt down. That's right. Yeah, otherwise I'll just end up with too much volume here. Too much on the floor. Yep, not a good look. Mm. Yeah, I always get a bit too enthusiastic and then I try to stir it. I just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I really want to get one of those, one of those kale t-shirts. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Job Furman's sort of got them on his website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, kale is the new beef. Oh, right. But I saw one yeah. the other day. Yeah. That, <laughs> I think I, I like even more. And it says kale is the answer. I was thinking, okay, so what, what's the question? Where do you get your protein? Kale. Where do you get your calcium if you don't have dairy products? Kale. So like, kale is the answer. Whatever your question, kale is the answer. <laughs> that was very clever. I want to get one of those. How will it grow in a Sydney garden? Oh, it does. It grows. It's growing it, in I've, mine. I've got it. I've got it growing in a in a in a from a seeds. A mate. No, seeds. actually, Andy's actually had a little um, a root on the bottom of it. There was actually like little plants, tiny little plants. Oh, yeah. Where did you get them? I got them at Aldi's at Melinda. Yeah, they had buckchow boy, they had uh, beech, wow. they had cauliflower, but I've just got it in a pot, well it's a very big pot, very deep pot, um, and I've got to grow it on the ground because it, that's the best position, it's north facing and it's yeah. something that's protected because of things around it. Have you seen kale seeds or have you grown it from little plants? I grew it from seed, oh, yeah. 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 I think I got it from, I did, I got it from Eaton Seeds online, so, mm. yeah. They've got an amazing collection of vegetables that you just never see in the shops, mm. you can never see all. All these heirloom varieties of tomatoes and like seeds for black carrots and magnificent stuff. <laughs> purple carrots. Oh man, I'm just loving those purple carrots. They are so awesome. 
Okay, so a big fat bunch of kale there has shrunk down quite nicely. Yeah. So you just have to be patient and work it a bit at a bit of time if you don't have your big pot free. So I'll let that simmer away a little bit longer. Get back in there. And with a good non-stick pan, you really don't need to keep adding much water when you water sauté. Because the, the veggies, particularly when onion, onion and mushrooms both sweat out a lot of water when you cook them. And even the kale does too. That's nearly ready. And I'm just going to add in that red rice now. Mm. Did I? You're probably right. <laughs> you can add it in or you can serve it over. Well, what's your preference, everyone? Add in, in or on? Add, add in. in. Chuck it in what the heck? In one pot. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you're Do right, Kim. Right I'm improvising as I go because that's. I actually. No, Ty. I made up this recipe so long ago that it's sort of gone through various stages. <laughs> yeah, if it can be in a bowl. And serve with a spoon, then I'm the winner. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Instead of on a plate on a bed of rice, you know, it's just like <laughs> No, one, one pot dish, definitely. Definitely. Okay. And then, of course, because that rice has been sitting for a while, um, Mitch, could you do that off camera? Yeah. Um, because the rice has been sitting for a while getting getting cold, just adding it back in now is going to warm it up really yeah. nicely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's about ready for cashew sauce. Oh. I'm just going to whip it up again in case it's um, settled out a bit. Keeping on my toes. Now, the peas actually need hardly any cooking anyway, so it's quite quite okay just to add them here at the last minute. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> I confess they were frozen. Okay, so we've got everything in. Time for the sauce. And this oh, is the bit that makes it creamed. So you might be able to see there, it's already thickening up. As soon as it hits that heat, it starts to thicken. All it needs is just a, a couple of minutes here to warm the sauce and thicken it. And then we're ready to go. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to All right. Yes, you So we're reusing cups? Yes. yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes, we are. Mm. Shall we say, hit me, Ben? What does that mean? I don't know, but it just means kind of have some. Really? Okay. That sounds good. I don't know how it's one that's, you know, I like it. I don't know how it's one that's, you know, I like it. I don't know how it's Good. That's right, we just say it because it sounds good. Oh dear. Okay, is everyone everyone set? Oh. Set the camera in? Okay. Mitch, when you finish blowing on it, you can just retrieve that it's got. Oh, sorry, sesame seeds. Here we go. So, once, once it's on the plate, we do the little garnish with the sesame. Oh, my tray. Oh, sesame, seeds. <laughs> sesame seeds are great. They are fabulous. Okay. Seeds on top. And away we go. Okay, so how's that going down? Mm. Yep. Yeah. So, 
Get your kids to eat greens, just douse them in cashew sauce. <laughs>